Aleluya. Let's lift our hands to heaven and bless the name of the Lord. Lift your hands and worship the King of Kings, even the Lord of Lords. Deserving of all praise, deserving of all glory, deserving of all worship. Are you giving him praise? Father, we thank you for the miracles. We thank you for the mighty and marvelous manifestations of your hand. We thank you. No man can do these things except God be with him. In the name of Jesus Christ. It is a good thing to give thanks to the Lord in as much as we expect him to move and to do great and mighty things in our midst. Um, it is important to first pay attention to what God has done and then you can release your faith for what he wants to do. Are we together? Is there a grateful person in this place? One more time. I'd like you to give Jesus a big shout of praise. Hallelujah. As I sat back quietly, you would notice I, I was not, it was almost as if I was not in the service because I came with a burden in my heart one to see god's people experience his power and his grace but number two i came with a determination in my heart um, to see to it that every long-standing issue issues that have refused to give up issues that have been there the doors are called ancient doors but that under a certain condition they can lift up their heads in one minute i like you to pray you pray about so many things but pray that every long-standing issue that has refused to bow to the name of the lord let this be the season that it must give up over my life go ahead and pray Pray. All our viewers are around the world connecting by faith. Make sure that you are also praying. Every long standing issue. The Lord summons you tonight. Someone is praying. Long standing issue. You bow to the name of Jesus. hallelujah hallelujah the bible says the testimony of jesus is the spirit of prophecy do you know what that means that means every time jesus is proclaimed what you are hearing is prophetic 
that in what you are hearing is the ability to make it happen again so if you hear that Jesus healed someone in that testimony is the faith for you to connect to make it happen again if you hear that Jesus restored someone I don't know about you but please let me encourage you I know that this is a house that God has so honored with his power and with testimonies but never trivialize the manifestation of the hand of God can you imagine the kind of testimonies there is none of these people here who is acting or playing some games here no you are intelligent people delivered from the hand of death delivered from the hand of failure if he did it before, he can do it again. If he did it before, if he did it before, he'll do it again. Save God right now. Save God by death. If he did it before. Oh, he'll do it again. Same God right now. Same God right now. Hallelujah. Wave your hands to Jesus and thank him by faith. A wave offering is a real offering, just like the one you put in your envelope. A wave offering is not, you are not just, this is not some ritual. Lord, we thank you. We wave our hands to you in honor of your power and of your grace. For in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Please be seated. God bless you. Welcome to our miracle service for the month of February. Our miracle services are designed to give us the platform to experience the supernatural power of God to heal, to deliver, and to set free, to bring breakthroughs. We have maintained an understanding that while we love Jesus and while our primary focus is to learn of his ways and to grow, we must always give him the allowance to visit his people in remarkable ways as we would experience tonight and bring them relief bring them healings bring them salvation and so i want your heart to be open the bible says that the word of god was preached to them it says but they heard the word and did not mix it with faith and the word did not profit them because they didn't mix it with faith let me start tonight by appreciating everyone our global family and then all of us who are here um, i am humbled and amazed to know the things that people do all the time week in week out especially at moments like this to help people connect from around the world there are people literally who have turned their homes their churches their business places to viewing centers literally without exaggeration they just connect and allow as many people to just come in and experience Jesus it takes the Holy Spirit to move the hearts of men on that wise and for these people we are truly grateful for all that you have done and all that you are doing to help people connect to what Jesus is doing in our midst we make bold to say God is in our midst and we make bold to say he's moving mightily and that this is only the beginning of the dimensions of him we are seeing so when we invite people to come and partake of this feast it is more than just a desire to connect to a man of God or to connect to a ministry it is a communication of our love and our desperation to see the power and the grace of Jesus extended to as far a people as we can reach so I really want to appreciate everyone I also want to appreciate all our special guests we may not have the time I'm sure that um, they had been recognized earlier everyone is welcome 
in the name of Jesus Christ I'm just going to give us a charge there's so much to do tonight and I don't intend to keep us for too long but at the same time we're not we're trusting God and in my prayers to God especially today I asked the Lord and I said Lord please let no one situation be shifted to another miracle service let it let it end here once and for all but you see you have a role to agree with me by faith you can decide that for you miracle service of may will be your own and you can be right based on your faith but I'm sure that there's someone who came here and said today this moment I discern that this is my time and this is my season may it be so for you in Jesus name we just finished a series on the supernatural and so for those of us who are part of this vision we are not in the dark as to the fact that God is a supernatural God are we in agreement and that the supernatural was designed by God to be commonplace for every believer the supernatural is every believers heritage in Christ a life of miracles signs and wonders should be part of our heritage in fact Jesus said these signs shall follow the there's those who believe that means believers listen carefully believers are not supposed to be signless they are not supposed to be ordinary people as you move something should follow you and that whatever follows you are also messengers like we have taught you are not the only one preaching the signs and the miracles God is with him they say the favor of God is with him they say come and hear and learn of his God they say these signs and miracles are not just following you they are saying something so the supernatural is our heritage in Christ but miracle signs and wonders require certain spiritual atmospheres to happen this is my message now most times believers want to walk in signs and wonders believers want to walk in the miraculous believers desire to see supernatural results happen in and through their life um, but most times believers do not know that the supernatural please listen the supernatural is atmosphere dependent say after me the supernatural is atmosphere dependent that means the supernatural does not just happen in any atmosphere and with any atmosphere there is a specific atmosphere that must be created there is a combination of spiritual components that must coexist to create the atmosphere of the supernatural but that if and when that atmosphere is created then nothing restrains the hand of God from reaching his people are we together we learn from biology and we learn from agriculture that a seed does not grow in just any soil and in just any atmosphere I had the privilege of visiting a professor and visiting his farm not too long ago and I was I was remarkably amazed as they did a tour for me around that farm hectares and acres of land superior technology brought in Israelis to come and design you know the whole farm and I was taken somewhere where they grow vegetables in 21 days exactly 21 days from planting to harvesting exact technology but I found out that the plants they create a greenhouse system so there is an atmosphere they simulate the best atmosphere that can make for that result are we together so I'm saying that agriculture has taught us that every atmosphere does not produce is not every atmosphere that produces the kind of miracles that we want you can carry a seed and drop it on the ground and after one year you will be surprised to meet that seed there atmospheres speak there are atmospheres that tell the plant or the 
the, the seed don't grow and it remains there in obedience to that atmosphere but the same atmosphere you can take the same seed to another atmosphere and you watch the miracle of growth and the miracle of resurrection is that true almost every house has something called a refrigerator what do you think the assignment of a refrigerator is it's not just to cool whatever you put there the refrigerator is a manager of atmospheres because whatever it is that you put in there especially if to preserve the it, it is the refrigerator is built based on a consciousness that all the bacteria and everything they don't just act on food they depend on an atmosphere so the atmosphere either avoids it or slows down drastically the activities is that true atmosphere there is an atmosphere that can turn raw food into you call it cooked food it's an atmosphere when you set your food on fire and you close it you expect something to happen why do you close the pot you create an atmosphere and something happens under that atmosphere most believers do not understand the atmosphere factor as far as the miraculous is concerned and so there are all kinds of assumptions people just believe that God is in heaven he loves us he should move and we become disappointed because we do not understand that it takes more than just the desire of God to touch you for you to be touched there is the atmosphere component and this is what I want to teach you tonight there are three major components I wrote here it's just a charge that creates the atmosphere for miracles that means everywhere you see the manifestation of the miraculous and the supernatural in the life of an individual especially when you see that it is a realm it is not just an event that happens when it becomes a realm of possibility continually it means that that individual has been able to capture the components to create and to live under that atmosphere and do you know the beautiful thing about the atmosphere of the miraculous is that it does not have to remain in church here you can find the ingredients and with the mastery of a chef you can transport that atmosphere not just to your house it can live with you you can create your own climate my goodness Hala, so that you become a walking breathing living manifestation of the supernatural In 2005, I was on an extensive study on the miraculous and on signs and wonders and the glory of God particularly. And I began to study the life of the Jews because they had such profound manifestations of the glory of God as recorded in scripture, especially the Old Testament. I wanted to study what they were taught that would cause the cloud that shekinah of his glory to rest with them in fact moses said it this way he said do not let us depart from here if your presence will not go with us he says how shall they know that we are a people who are separated consecrated and he said my presence will go with you and because of that presence i will give you rest the discoveries that i made shocked me because you see when you watch the nation of israel through their journey they were not people who really had weapons of war because they were on transit remember that when they started their journey from egypt they never had a chance to stop and camp it was they were they were sojourners until they got to the promised land and yet they fought yet many things happened they carried with them a formula and they carried with them a climate are we together now that when the neighboring nations saw them they were afraid not because of the dexterity of their soldiers they were largely not warriors 
but they understood something about an atmosphere that they would carry they would carry the ark you will read in your bible when after they made the ark they would put it at the center and even when um balaam is called to come and curse them he would stand and try to invoke a curse and it would not happen and he said there is a formation something about the ark in the center has created a cloud that no speakings from whatever distance can reach them he said the shout of a king is in the midst of them listen if you can create this atmosphere in this atmosphere you will enjoy immunity in this atmosphere you will enjoy favor in this atmosphere you will enjoy all things supernatural the supernatural is not limited to healings and deliverances alone every manifestation that is beyond the realm of science beyond the realm of human thoughts do you believe what you're hearing so three components very quickly let this be a lesson for us if you're a man of God here, please listen. If you truly want to see the miracle working power of Jesus flow in and through your life, genuine miracles, then here are the keys. Are you ready? Component number one, if you want to create that atmosphere that makes for the supernatural, that makes for the miraculous, component number one, genuine passion and a heart of total surrender write it down the first non-negotiable component you want to create the atmosphere that is ever conducive for signs and wonders it is the atmosphere of genuine passion and total surrender Matthew chapter 11 from verse 28 and 29. Total surrender. Hear what Jesus said. Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden. He says, and I will give you rest. I will give you rest if you come unto me. Notice, he didn't say follow me yet. He said, come unto me. It takes a lot to come unto him. To come unto him means that you realize you are inadequate. To come unto him means that you realize that by yourself and unassisted, there is not so much you can do. We live in a world that is full of pride. We live in a world where we are not committed to anything at all. But if you must create that atmosphere of the glory and the power of God, it comes with a price. And the first component is genuine passion. Passion towards what? God. Passion towards God and passion towards the things of God. God is not a herbalist. God is not a magician. God does not play games with people. If you come to him, there must be a determination within your heart. The psalmist said, Oh Lord, you are my God. Early will I seek you. My heart longs for you. Give it to us, Psalm 63. It says, To see your power and your glory. Oh God, thou art my God. Early will I seek you. My soul thirsted for you. Say passion. One more time. Say passion. My flesh longed for you in a dry and thirsty land where no water is what for verse 2 to see your power and your glory as i have seen in the sanctuary passion for god and total surrender surrendering your intellect surrendering your logic can i tell you years ago i listened to benny Hinn and he made a statement that I appreciated so much but now haven't worked a bit in the miracle ministry I can tell you I understand Clara what he was saying he said this that in many of his meetings please look up listen carefully that many of his meetings you would find out that if people every time people came for his meetings if their attention was just on their healing their problem whatever was wrong with them most times they would not receive they would have to take their eyes away from the problem and focus on Jesus because for many people you see they do not agree 
that God has the absolute power to help them. So they just feel, God, I don't want you to come into every aspect. I've managed this one. I just want you to touch this and that. And God says, you are either ready to get out of the way and allow me step in or you finish fighting and exhaust your pride. And we live in a world that is largely philosophical. There is over-dependence on the flesh. So when people come for a miracle service like this, for instance, you are trusting God to reach you and open doors. But from head to toe, you are full of yourself. My certificates, my qualifications. I have all these things. All I need is just a bit of anointing on it and I'm on fire. And God says, no, except the Lord builds a house. They labor in vain that build it except the lord watches over a city the watchmen watch it but in vain it is vain to wake up early in the morning listen carefully to sleep late in the night only to eat the bread of sorrow we have seen skilled people suffer as if god did not call them and we have seen weak people weak people proverbs chapter 3 and verse 5 it says trust in the lord with all your heart and he says, lean not on your own understanding. It is the same God who gave you understanding. To lean does not mean to not use it. It means when it has to do with dealing with God, do not bring your understanding to compete with him. His realm is higher than your realm. His thoughts higher than your thoughts. Most times people come to God, but they are not absolutely surrendered. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. You know that song? Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Have your way, Lord. Have your way. Oh, Lord. Have your way. Lord, I am here so that you will lift me. It is not my assignment to tell you how. If I could help myself, I would not need to come to you. Don't sit down when you are saying, Lord, lift me and your mind has held NMPC. You are not going to let me. That is not how God lifts. Trust him enough to get out of the way. How you would do it, oh God, I do not know. But I know that I am in your presence. Let the lifter lift me. Over dependence on our intellect, our philosophies will always corrupt that atmosphere. For the miraculous can i tell you this many times when i'm praying preparing for any meeting especially the miracle service sometimes god will usually open me to visions of what happened what is going to happen sometimes literally or sometimes i just get pictures of people's cases and the rest but i prepare my sermon you see that i do my due diligence but i never come to stand here with just an over calculation of this i come he's the lord of hosts and when I come, having prepared myself, I am completely yielded to him to move as he wills. In as much as I have a structure, but he knows that when it has to do with this meeting, he can move as he wills. You see, because I don't know except it is revealed to me. I cannot know what is wrong with you and I cannot know the area of desperation and the area of need and it is pride to stand in the way of the one who knows in fact it's wickedness it's not just pride I'm trying to help you but I'm ignorant there is the one who knows exactly where to touch you and now I will not let him touch you and sometimes you can be the limitation yourself because you can think this is what you need but from the mind of God, what you need is totally different. It is up to you to say, Lord, I, I truly believe that you can visit me. Surrender. There are times you can have pain and you may go to the doctor with, with the arrogance of an amateur and almost guessing and you can say, doctor, I am sure it is this thing. And the doctor laughs at you and laughs at your ignorance and tests you and tells you something totally different and says that's what is wrong with you but you are feeling another symptom and yet the doctor from a professional standpoint you think it's a financial problem open up your heart and let god visit you you will find out it has nothing to do with finances in fact sometimes you can think it's an issue of ill health 
but it is not an issue of ill health it's the ministry of the devourer he knows that the only way or the most predictable way to destroy your finances is your health if he spoils your car you will leave it there you will not fix the car so he spoils your body because he knows you will not leave that body that way and since he has found out that you like this body and you want to live long in it he will continue to create affliction so that your finances will suffer so to you now you can think the real problem is finances but when you come to god he will tell you it is not finances the real problem is abc listen allow god to interpret your situation to you the first atmosphere is that atmosphere of total surrender lord i have come before you as far as i know there are 10 major problems with me disfavor no helpers oppression that's the best that i can know but i've come to you you are the wisdom of god diagnose me and do you know sometimes you see demon spirits walk like an octopus how many of you know an octopus that creature with many expressions like legs it can touch your finance same spirit touch your marriage same spirit you think they are different issues but they are caused by one and the same spirit how many of you will like to cut down a tree by removing the leaf one by one how intelligent does that sound and you are trying to say lord can you help me remove all the leaves in this area and god says no i know what the problem is the leaves will grow allow me to come and bulldoze that thing from the root and sometimes when he throws it from the root you will still see the leaf looking green and he says go and rest it's dead and he said no it is still green he says i, I know what i did ah. total dependence some of you it may be ministry ministry is not growing and based on your interpretation it is because i'm in an area that is not my maybe territorial area maybe i'm a yoruba person among houses or a house person among yorubas all those things are just flimsy reasons god is telling you the diagnosis is there is no favor on you period lord why is it that when i get a job in two weeks they drive me in two weeks they drive me and you have come with the name of your boss in your prayer request now hoping that by laying hands on him maybe god will kill him or do something but even if the man dies for instance will you really be free because what is really wrong with you is a pattern he said demo these are altars that have nothing to do your boss just happens to be the one that was used to oppress you because of something on you have you seen people who complain and even if the object of complaint is taken away from them the situation does not change it's not about the person causing trouble now it's about something on you that keeps attracting trouble are we learning atmosphere component number one so there has to be genuine passion for the lord and then complete surrender why do you surrender to him you surrender to allow his wisdom go before you to allow him be the one to truly interpret what you need when you go to the hospital imagine that you go to the hospital and you are seated with a consultant and you just say sir where do you keep your syringes where do you keep this and he says what for he says i want to inject myself i know exactly what is wrong with me i just want you to be a witness <laughs> and you are breaking that thing and about to give yourself injection and he said you are even doing it the wrong way he said no problem i know what i'm doing and the man says why are you then here when you go to a consultant even if you are a consultant yourself you are not a consultant in that area so when you go you sit down like every other person and say doctor or consultant abc is wrong with me and you trust him and depend on him don't come to god tonight in fact some of you in all honesty in all honesty as you are seated right now you cannot truly articulate what is wrong with you you can only tell the symptoms of what is wrong with you my money has been hanging for five months could it really be a financial issue let's find out 
my health has been having a problem could it really be a health issue let's find out are you learning what i'm saying now so if i'm here right now and the holy spirit says everybody stand up and start jumping around and dancing as stupid as it is that's exactly what i'm going to do it does not make sense to me but you have to understand that i'm not the one doing it it is the one who knows what is wrong with you are we together i never stand on stage ministering to god's people and then close that door to the wisdom of the spirit i am aware of how limited and how very ignorant i am as far as having the full capacity to help god's people is concerned you have come because you believe in jesus and you have come because you believe in me and i'm grateful for that trust but let me tell you unassisted i'm only wasting your time i can only share scripture and say let's pray do you know what it takes to stand from here and begin to make declarations over someone's life and like that doors are opening you are intelligent can a man do that unassisted no but i'm happy to inform you i'm not alone here not alone hmm. and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with them and the lord walking with them number two the second component that creates the atmosphere for miracles for signs and wonders are you ready is deep heartfelt worship deep heartfelt worship apostle i'm not a musician but you want solutions but you want solutions can i tell you if you are not a worshiper there are certain dimensions and certain levels of the atmosphere of the miraculous that your mind your life will not command you see a worshiper is not just one who sings a worshiper is one whose life words and then singing creates that atmosphere for the presence of god to be made manifest singing is only a tool you can sing and you are a singer and a musician and yet not a worshiper true worship starts from the heart true worship is a response is a revelation you know who god is heartfelt worship second chronicles chapter 5 from verse 11 we praise the cup of life that glorious spring that washes us sins away. Hello, Imadona. Hello, Imadona. Can I tell you this? I've worked with God a bit. Let me teach you how to neutralize negative atmospheres. Introduce an atmosphere of deep, heartfelt, presence-carrying worship. Not senseless songs that don't carry any atmosphere. There are songs that were written by people who were just ambitious. I'm talking of atmospheres that carry fire and the power that can change. But thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up of my head. Thou, O oh Lord, had a shield for me, my glory, the lifter up when you set that atmosphere let me tell you what begins to happen 
the power of the atmosphere for worship because you see the way God works is that whatever dimension of him he wants you to experience he through the ministry of the Holy Spirit will put it in your heart to begin to sing that dimension he becomes what you are saying worship and singing is the protocol for experiencing him he said come before him with singing so if he wants to move as a mighty God the Holy Spirit do you know there are times that songs come as weapons not as music are we together there are certain things called songs of deliverance you, they are not special numbers that is the weapon that God has given you for that victory have you woken up one morning and you find out it can be the line of a song and you will keep singing it for days can I tell you whenever you have that prompting don't stop keep singing that song in that song you are singing it may not make sense to anybody but there is victory being birthed in it oh. Oh, 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 let me tell you this when God really wants to give you victory there are times that a grace will come on you and you will do night vigil of worship not just prayer you will just set the atmosphere and in that in that atmosphere it's like something is boiling in the spirit when you really have warfare it is not only prayer you do the atmosphere you want the presence of God to come and to rest and tabernacle with you you need to master the art of creating that atmosphere if you don't know how to sing people have already done the singing for you go through the labor of creating that atmosphere let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let the weight of your glory fall let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth listen i was caught up in the realm of the spirit many years ago and this is where i had this song i didn't write it it was a song that came by revelation that that shekinah it is the desire of god that that glory blankets the nations from city to city and from continent to continent let it cover all let it cover all the earth let it cover all the earth you see let me tell you something with worship worship can take away falsehood from you in prayer because there are times you come to god with all kinds of human calculations and in worship just takes you over there are times that your emotions are so connected to what you are doing you are no longer conscious of what i wore what i bought you don't know when you can whether it's to lie down or roll before him 
worship purifies your desire I do not know one great man who truly walks in the miraculous and in signs and wonders who ignores this mystery of heartfelt worship blessed is he who comes in the name of our God just help those under the anointing blessed is he who comes in the name of our God holy holy blessed is he who comes in the name of our God Hosanna, Hosanna, blessed is he who comes in the name of our God. Many years ago, I was in a meeting in Kaduna, and it was under such an in tense atmosphere of the spirit and while we worshiped just forgetting ourselves in his presence you see most let me tell you the reason why most people do not experience God is we are in a hurry for everything in a hurry for everything God come sharp sharp bless me sharp sharp and leave sharp sharp have my everything you have my everything it was in that meeting this song came you have my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of me all of me Lord you have my everything take all of, take all of, all of me all of me, all of me Lord. You, you have, have my everything anoint my everything use my everything I release my everything you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me all of me lord you have my everything take all of me all of me lord Take all of me, all of me, all of me, all of me, you have all of me, 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 of of correcting things because you are not just singing a special number you have not even started praying you decided to set that atmosphere correcting things sing and worship over your sick patient and you will watch him arise like the mighty God correcting things it only works for those who engage it not those who know about it Heartfelt worship. Heartfelt worship. Heartfelt worship. That you stretch in that atmosphere. You see, one of the reasons, hold on please, we're going to pray shortly. One of the reasons why I always suggest the night is not a ritual. But you see, most times in the day we are distracted. Before you even kneel down, 
a call has come with all kinds of things so many people are awake sometimes they can just be distractions but in the night when everybody is asleep just you and your savior the maker of your destiny it's not only the heavens and the earth he makes Kenneth Copeland met with Bishop Oyedepo and he said you claim that we are the ones who taught you on the subject of faith and church growth and all of these things how come God has so honored you like this and Bishop Oyedepo replied he said to him in addition to the things we have learned from you <clears throat> I sang and I danced every one of these people to this place. Worship. Worship. And th 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 there is an exchange that happens in the place of worship. Your weakness for his strength. Your limitation for his power. You will never leave the place of worship the way you went. Please hear what I'm telling you. This is one of the ways I prepare for the miracle service. And you are there just saying, Lord, I'm singing to you. If you do not help me, I cannot. I can't help the, the people are coming with challenges world over. What strength do I have to help them? And that Shekinah comes to mantle you. And you come out endued with power. Power with proof. Are you learning? The second component as far as creating that climate for the miraculous is heartfelt worship number three the last and then we'll pray I'm already sensing a very strong anointing here I'm under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me yeah. I am under the shadow of your wings your influence is all over me I am under the shadow of your wings Your influence is all over me oh, The third component that creates the atmosphere for the supernatural is faith faith matthew chapter 13 and verse 58 faith mm. there will be such a move of the spirit in this place tonight such a move of the spirit in this place matthew chapter 13 please i want you to bring the following people out now i'm seeing i just saw light from all the in the main auditorium and all of the overflows and the lord is telling me there is something that is coming upon them help them bring them out Play the guitar for me. There are still more people you are bringing out. 
I'm seeing a book open before me and I'm seeing a hand pointing on that book and God is saying it's the season of these people there is something he's doing seasons your season there's nothing that will stop it when God has opened that is the season is open bring them out oh, 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 oh. When the Lord turned again the captivity of Zion, we were like them that dream. Hallelujah. Who is Jeremiah? I'm hearing a name Jeremiah. Who is Jeremiah? Is there a gentleman called Jeremiah? You're wearing a t-shirt. Jeremiah. Is there someone like that? Jeremiah. What's your name? Come. I want to pray for you. There is a man of God here. You are stepping into the prophetic there is I, I just saw like an eagle and every time i see that this is a symbolism of the prophetic the lord has been training you you do not even know that he's calling you into the prophetic ministry in the name of jesus may that hand from zion rest upon you in the name of jesus the son of the living god Jeremiah in the name of Jesus you two stand here where they are here I want to pray for them now by the power of the Holy Spirit I decree and I declare my God I'm seeing light coming upon you and the Lord is saying he's shifting you to new levels this is what I'm hearing don't ask how it will happen it will happen by the Spirit of God I release that anointing upon you right now take that grace by the power of the Holy Ghost. Hela de kadu sabran de gabarush kalikata. Please don't lose focus over what God is doing. Shalega baruski ata. Gran de kadusia. I'm seeing an anointing coming on this, my people. Lift your hands. Take that grace. In the name of Jesus, take that grace. By the power of the Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus Christ. New dimensions of power. The Lord is bringing you into new seasons. New seasons of grace. New seasons. New seasons of power. New seasons. In the name of Jesus. New seasons of authority. the spirit of delay is about to leave now the spirit of delay i'm about to declare please bring those people outside everyone on that apakatos kataya under the yoke of delay at the count of three shout the name jesus are you ready one two three shout jesus i cast that spirit now delay in the name of Jesus Christ, bring them out. Delay, delay in destiny, delay of the manifestation of the hand of God upon your life. Oh. 
Hallelujah. I'm seeing a man here. This man is a military officer. I'm not, you, you don't have to be wearing a uniform. This man, you are in the military. I don't know who that person is. Whether you are in here or outside, I can I can presume that there are so many people, but this this is someone you are a military officer. I want to pray for you. You are not wearing, you are wearing mufti, but you are a military officer. Who is that person? Alandas kalika rush kadebra has kadala kaparuze embra kato shalina kaparuze is he a military officer where hold on please two of them okay you are saying something you are a military officer you are a military officer sir where sir in kaduda I want to pray for you. Please just bring them out. Something is happening here. I'm seeing something that is very strange. I'm seeing the right hand of people on fire. And the Lord is telling me he's placing something upon that hand. Just the right hand. This will happen all over the congregation now. Like the right hand of people literally burning with fire. Literally burning with fire. And the Lord is placing something of substance and glory upon your hand madam this woman on red lift your hand i'm seeing an angel pour oil on you i stretch my hands take that grace now bring her out There is an anointing that is coming on the worship team the lord is i'm seeing you people climb ladders and the lord is saying he's about to announce some of you there are some of you in a strange way he's about to apparatus kadina katia locating you and lifting you it will happen by the spirit <laughs> madam where are you coming from hold on please where are you coming from you are in this Abuja. I want to pray for you. Listen to me. Your days of crying has come to an end in this country. I don't know you. But the hand of the Lord came upon you. And I'm prophesying to you. That that which makes for shame and reproach. My God is taking away from your life. <laughs> Sir. This man. Lift your right hand. Shout Jesus. Jesus. In the name of Jesus. That name. There is an anointing that has come on you. I'm seeing the Lord is shifting you to a deeper dimension of wealth. This is what I'm seeing. Deeper dimension of wealth. I pray for you, the military officers. I don't know why God asks that I send for you, but I stretch my hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit. May that grace rest upon you to be located and to be lifted. To be located and to be lifted. Let me prophesy to someone here whatever cloud has covered your glory so that those to see you do not see you to place a demand on that grace as i pray right now fire is going to come on people i decree and declare i tear that fail now i tear that i command that fail before now in the name of jesus christ I'm hearing the name Faustina. Is it Faustina? Faustina or Faustina? Faustina. I'm hearing a name Faustina. Is there someone with that name? Faustina. Please verify. Don't make sure that. Where are you coming from? 
Abuja here. Faustina. Hmm. I am not one person who stands to give prophecies and all of that. I'm not ready for people's trouble. But I just saw something right now. What is the symbol of the judiciary? Huh? We have to pray. That balancing scale, eh? I just saw it in a vision and I saw it fall to the ground and break. We have to pray for the judiciary in this nation. Something is happening very seriously. This is what I just saw. I would not say this if God did not ask me to say it. Like I said, I'm not, I don't want people to come and be debating and talking nonsense. I don't have that time. But I want you to write this down. Write this down. I don't come out and speak stupidly. I saw that balancing scale of the judiciary just fall to the ground to break. That means God is saying something is wrong. We have to pray seriously. Are we together? Kenneth. Kenneth, Kenneth, I'm hearing the name Kenneth, Kenneth, you are wearing a white dress, Kenneth, is there someone like that, Kenneth, Kenneth, my dear, place your hand on your stomach, I want to pray for you, in the name of Jesus Christ, by the power of the Holy Spirit, they will not tell you fibroid is growing in your stomach in the name of jesus christ i curse it right now kenneth i want to pray for you madam this woman come your season has come Stretch your hands. The spirit that is back of the challenges in your life, in the name of Jesus, it comes under arrest right now. I'm seeing fire burning you from head to toe. Out of her now, in the name of Jesus Christ. I curse you by the God of heaven. Let her go, for upon Mount Zion, there shall be deliverance and even holiness and the sons of Jacob shall possess their possession be released right now we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release the sound of the heavens sound of creation Yahweh is here we release the sound of the heavens we cry holy, holy, holy unto Yeshua Shekinah. We cry holy, 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 holy Hallelujah. I'm going to pray for you. But Ken, my own Ken, I know you are a pastry chef. But I'm seeing the Lord move you and connect you to another, like a, like a bigger hotel. I'm seeing that anointing is on you. It's coming on you. And the Lord is saying he's connecting you in a strange way. You will marvel and wonder at what God will do through you in this city. It is the anointing. What do you do, my friend? Huh? Are you a student? Yes, sir. But you know you have the destiny of a man of God. Yes, sir. He's called you into ministry. Yes, sir. But you are in a season of training. Yes, sir. Be careful with wrong associations. Eh? God will help you. But all this overzealous thing in ministry, don't waste your time. Just focus and let God build you to be a solid vessel. Can I pray for you? Yes, Lift sir. your hand. I pray that the anointing that makes for encounters, may that grace right now come upon you in the name of Jesus. Receive that grace in the name of Jesus. This man, please tap him for me. Where are you coming from, sir? In Abuja, yeah. What do you do? Don't be embarrassed. I'm a pastor. I'm doing a little business. <laughs> My friend, look at me. Um, man of God. 
I will please look at me sir don't be embarrassed but I will link you to somebody to help you hold on help help is not help means with what I'm seeing huh? don't be embarrassed but this is not ministry there needs to be a total over like complete this is don't be embarrassed like I said I believe that God brought you to help you you see you can be in error sincerely you, you get what I'm saying now you can be incomplete if I intend to go to Lagos and I turn towards Kaduna and I fire on four cylinders I'm sincere but I'm on my way going somewhere else and in meetings like this I'm not you know we're not a family that condemns and point fingers at people are we together once the hearts of people are open God is willing to help them but I need to pray for you man of God look at me I love you with all my heart but something needs to leave you now I stretch my hands I cause that spirit lift your hands right now by the power of the Holy Spirit let him go in the name of Jesus let this be the beginning of a new season for him now in the name of Jesus and you my friend this man I'm seeing something come out of you in the name of Jesus release him now by the power that raised Christ from the dead in Jesus name I pray be gone from him I'm not I'm praying against something I'm seeing let it leave you now in the name of Jesus so this man of God I will link him up to someone who will just help you the Lord will honor you in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please be silent everybody just bring all the people who start shouting now under the anointing please bring them out just do what I'm asking you to do hmm. there will be many many of them I'm literally seeing it's like a smoke just smoke cloud of smoke just moving all the overflows everywhere please bring them out and I will restore 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 and I will restore, and I will restore. And I will restore. no power will hold you down and I will restore someone you are a foreigner you are not a Nigerian you came in here and I will restore that anointing is touching you right now please don't you think we're wasting our time here God is visiting people definite visitations is giving people tonight let them go right now release their destinies by the power of the Holy Spirit we're already entering the deliverance session right now usually I will ask the instruments to play but the Lord is telling me to shut everything down I'm praying I told you it's not about the ritual of it it's about alignment now please hear me I'm seeing two words written and the Lord is saying, as soon as I announce that word, all those who have been victims of it, that deliverance fire is coming upon them. Two words. I'm seeing one reproach. I'm seeing one shame. These two words. Right now, I stretch my hands. Everyone here. Kabari Katoshia. Bring them out. The power of God is bringing deliverance right now. For individuals and for families. Shame and reproach. That everything that makes for shame, and everything that makes for reproach it comes under arrest now there is a lady there is a mighty deliverance coming for you you are a foreigner you are not a you are not a Nigerian you came here in the name of Jesus I don't know where you are but let that fire touch you right now in the name of Jesus Christ hallelujah please play the strings for me there is an anointing that is breaking
business failure right now this is what i'm seeing of course i know everybody but there are people who are calling to this and there are people who there are yokes that are holding their hands down you will be surprised to see what happens now as i pray in the name that is above all names at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus everyone here involved in business of any sort and it looks like the devil has held on to you this is koinonia this is the house of god at the count of three i bring you victory and liberty one two three shout jesus bring them out Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu Babu wani kamaruka Babu wani kamaruka Ya Yesu, babu wani kamarka. This is very strange. This will be the first time I'm seeing this happen. Usually, when the Lord wants to touch states, the map of Nigeria would appear, and then a hand will point to me the states that the Lord wants to visit. And I'm seeing an anointing, and I'm seeing plateau states. This is, I'm seeing the anointing just touching and bringing visitation to people. Now, you belong to that region here. The power of God is touching you and then extending to all those who are connected. In the name of Jesus, I declare, let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. Let this happen by the Spirit now. I'm taking in a vision the same map is open to me and I'm seeing a hand touch emo state right now I stretch my hands emo anyone who help them please this is a sign and a wonder how God does these things that all those who are connected to that territory something miraculous begins to happen <laughs> Madam, this woman, no, not the back, this one, lifting her hands now. This one. Where are you coming from? Plateau State. Huh? I'm from Abuja here, but I'm from Plateau State. I want to pray for you. Your life is about to change. You believe that? Yes, sir. What do you do? I work in a non-governmental organization. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands. There is an anointing. Leave her, leave her. I'm going to speak to her too. Where are you coming from? Huh? Abuja here. I want to pray for you. Will you be embarrassed if I talk to you? The Lord wants to take bad luck from your life. I'm looking at you, but in the realm of the spirit, I'm seeing a human being with no face. And the Lord is saying, I should pray for you. Let me pray for someone here. If there is anything that has taken away your identity in the realm of the spirit, because you see, your identity is what distinguishes you. In the name of Jesus Christ, let there be restoration now. Help her, please. Rest her. Pakatosh Katibata. Restoration now. In the name of Jesus, this is my sister. I stretch my hands towards you and I pray. May God lift you in a way that will surprise you. In the name of Jesus Christ, may God lift you in a way that will surprise you. There's someone you've been having severe pain who will soon begin to pray for the sick. Severe abdominal pain. This thing started October or November last year and it has not left you. The pain is there, severe, sharp, severe pain. The power of God is touching you right now. In the name of Jesus, release her now. Release her now. Release her now. 
I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Papua I have searched and searched all the earth searched and searched all the earth and found that Papua no one like you Jesus no one like you no one like you no one like you no one like you father no one like you master you're the god of everything no one like you your faith in god and your faith in the vessel that he uses is the third key that connects you third key that connects you supernaturally to the power of god now i want to minister deliverance by the power of god listen to me what is deliverance is a separation between you and the obstacle it does not necessarily have to be a spirit most times it's a spirit the gentleman holding the passport come come please hurry up we have to we have to rush ah. who is this king of glory the lord the lord mighty in battle amen where are you coming from i want to pray for you as I saw you lifting that passport, the Lord said, I should use it as a sign to release your entire family. Uh, where are you from? Not where you are. I'm uh, from Imo State, sir. Imo State. Yes, sir. Lift your hands. Who is this King of glory? The Lord strong and mighty. The Lord mighty in battle. Amen. For thine is the kingdom, the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. For thine is the power and the glory forever and ever. Amen. I stretch my hands, my friend. In the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the Living God, may that anointing come upon you for the sake of your family members. Whether they are following or not, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the Living God, I bring liberty right now. Passport is a token that gives access. Therefore, every door that has been closed over you and over your family, according to the word of the Lord, you are given unrestrained access right now. In the name of Jesus Christ. Now let me pray for you. Hmm. Separation. Most of us, like I was sharing when I was giving the charge, there are spirits that are back of the many symptoms we call problems. The symptoms are there, but let me tell you sincerely, it is not just the financial problem or the marital problem or the whatever problem most times there are spirits that are back of it Jesus said loose hand I mean he um, it, it told the woman who was bound that she should be loose from her infirmity for 18 years when she was loose then he laid hands on her and the healing happened the healing would not happen if the spirit is there so I want to pray for you now. You will be surprised that for some of you, even before we begin to pray for the sick, and let me tell you this, when it is time for testimonies, testimonies is not only for healing. 
Some of you under the anointing here, you get up and find out that something has happened to you. When it is time for testimonies, you can join them too. And let's hear what God is doing in your life. It's just that there's no time. That's why we just limit it to healing miracles alone. But there are some of you, whilst you came here, you would be surprised that things would just shift like that. I hope you came with something as a point of contact tonight. Remember, don't worry. A time will come, we'll lift it. But now I want to pray. For as long as I live, the devil will not find peace. As long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina Kane. That as long as I live, Nina Kane, you have bought me with a price, Nina. Do you know why I sang that song? If I buy something and you come and hold it to take it away, what are you called? One more time, what are you called? If this body belongs to the Lord and another spirit wants to come and cohabit, deliverance is simply asking the landlord to claim ownership. Landlord, rest upon your property so that everything that is not you when you see empty houses that are unoccupied people can come and squat there temporary but when the owner of the house comes and he wants to find his place every squatter will go out i want to pray for you now at the count of three i want you to shout that name jesus and as you shout that name please i want you to help those under the anointing and then bring them out. We are going to be very fast here. There are spirits sitting on the destinies of men. There are spirits responsible for disfavor. Responsible for wickedness. There are spirits responsible for all kinds of atrocities. We want to bring them under arrest now by the power of the Holy Spirit. I decree and declare. By the anointing that breaks the yoke. By the spirit of grace, every family here represented, all our viewers following from across the globe, following from your homes, if there be any entity that is not of the Christ, causing all kinds of problems, as you shout that name, make sure you shout it, those who are following from your homes everywhere, that the power of God right here on ground and through the airwaves, will rest upon you and bring that permanent separation. Are you ready now? At the count of three. One, two, my God. Three, shout Jesus. Release their destinies now. Please bring them out. Release them now. Release their destinies now. Powers of witchcraft. Powers in the air, territorial spirits sitting upon the destinies of men. Bring them out very quickly. In the name of Jesus, we arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. We arrest you now. Please, whether you are an usher or not, just help the ushers. I'm sure their hands are limited. Whether you are an usher or not, someone is under the anointing. You can do well to just help them bring them to the front so that we'll save time. We are still going to pray. There are families under all kinds of yokes. You will still shout that name again. This time around, not just for yourself, but for everyone connected to you. So that even if they could not make it for your sake. Are you ready now? Father, visit families. May your fire and your anointing burn off altars that are speaking against the glorious destinies of families at the count of three one two three shout jesus we set altars on fire in the name of jesus christ we set yokes on fire let them go 
let them go by the power of the Holy Ghost let them go open your mouth in one minute and begin begin to declare your release I declare liberty in the name of Jesus will never be a victim of any orchestration of foundations yokes of darkness manipulations of witchcraft is someone praying release your children release your destiny please pray release your ministry release your business hallelujah hallelujah the Lord is showing me two families you are from Kogi state the Lord is taking away the spirit of death I'm seeing this my God Parakatosia wherever that family is represented in whoever whichever individual is here I command that sword of death to be averted from your family now From the rising of the sun to the setting of the same, your name. hallelujah now i'm seeing there is someone you've been trusting god for a visa to meet with your spouse abroad and you've not been able to have that visa this has been for a while is do we have someone like that here it's time for you to go now come please make sure you verify spouse 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 give this man the mic let me don't. how long three years you've not seen your wife yes where is she she's in poland and i came here for a visa and i was denied ah, 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 ah. Where are you coming from, sir? Huh? Lagos. Lagos. Yes, sir. Your spouse? My spouse is now in US. Your cousin? My wife is in US. Is in US? Yes, sir. And you've not been allowed to go and meet her? Yes, sir. Do you believe in miracles? Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I'm not saying if you are looking for a visa, it's good for us to listen. We are in a prophetic atmosphere. So please make sure you understand what we are saying. Spouse means someone you are married, you are married to that you help her, help her now. Your name is to be hallowed. Madam, this woman, please tap her for me. You believe in miracles? Yes, Lift your hands. Shout Jesus as loud as you can. Jesus. I want to pray for you. Listen, the Bible says the heart of a king is in the hand of the Lord. And like the wave of the sea, God will toss it here and there. 
it is not spirits and angels that are in the visa offices they are human beings and in as much as they have a modus operandi let me tell you god is able to show mercy and to grant you grace we are not praying here as a way of downplaying the due process no we are people of order but i am telling you that god is able to step in and many of you will be surprised who is doing an appeal you are the one doing an appeal your paper is behind your here. paper is there go and bring it i want to pray on it your name is to be honored. now let me pray for all of you in the name of jesus two of you right now the power of god is coming on you this is i saw something that just came from the earth into you and the lord is saying it must leave two of you among those standing here i stretch my hands i don't know what demonic thing came from whose village for whatever reason but in the name of jesus the son of the living god it must let you go now two of you the anointing of the holy ghost please help that woman so she doesn't fall with her child out of her now out now please lift this man up for me sir look at me where are you from i'm from lagos state of origin Edo State. i want to pray for you please don't be embarrassed this is a family that loves you the kind of witchcraft i'm seeing on you because i'm seeing you inside a coffin this is what i'm seeing i'm not even it's not even that somebody from the realm of i'm not a prophet of doom i'm going to pray for you i'm looking at you and i'm seeing a man who is already here and i'm seeing the month of july you are on your way towards Auchi, and i'm seeing an accident yet the thing has already finished i stand by the god of heaven who called me and i decree and declare right now oh death hear the word of the lord let him go now I command that spirit, help him, out of him, now! If there is anyone here, the pronouncement of death or a programming upon your life, you are walking but already it looks like you've been finished from the realm of the spirit. We have been given authority even over the grave right now i pray anyone here appointed unto death be delivered from death now can i surprise you the person who will help you is here now in the name of jesus christ may the lord show you mercy i'll leave it at that go now for all of you in the name of jesus ah please don't be embarrassed the lord is giving me a very serious God bless you. I prayed for you. Please, you can go back. Now, there is something serious I want to pray for now. Don't be embarrassed. Don't be embarrassed. But there is someone here. There is a spirit that is not, you are not a bad person. But when this spirit comes on you, you can steal anything, even if it's inside the bank. You are not a, you are not a wicked person. This is an addiction you have fought and fought and fought. It is not like you are a criminal, but this thing has brought you embarrassment. I want to pray for that person now. I usually would not, I would just ask you to save yourself and sit down somewhere, but I want to pray for that person. Please, if you are here, don't waste our time. God wants to bring you deliverance now. This addiction of stealing. You came here sincerely and it's in your heart. Come and stand though. Let's appreciate them as if there's someone like that coming. Praise the Lord. Please, when you identify them, allow them, if they are coming from outside this place, let them come to stand. I want to pray for them very quickly. Very quickly. 
can be male or female when it has to do with demons it doesn't matter whether you are please God bless you my dear brother you are not the only one I want to pray this is a family of faith in fact hold on let me use the opportunity right now this is a family of faith and I'm not going to mention any particular thing but if you are a victim of any kind of addiction any kind addiction is something that has control over you when it comes upon you you have no control until it destroys you come and stand here right now quickly God wants to set you free quickly please come and stand God bless you anything at all addiction is destroying people don't sit back there you know that this is your chance come and stand before Jesus and while you stand be praying don't just be looking at me please hear me you don't have to come if you have a child you should if you are the one who is who is the victim of this please come the Lord will be setting you free but if you are standing for someone maybe your spouse or a child or whatever please just sit where you are for the sake of space move forward small those of you in front they are so are you, are you seeing look at this now this is not to condemn them listen my my beloved people look at me we are a family that loves Jesus and loves you passionately it is the job of the church to build and to help so there is nothing to be embarrassed about just make sure that as you are coming you are really sincere to be free quickly come addictions my god from the rising of the sun to the setting of the sea your name is to be hallowed. Now listen, please look at me. Let me explain to you something. Listen carefully, our viewers around the world and then you who is here. Please, if you are following also online and you are a victim of any kind of addiction, this is your chance to connect. All those people coming from where now? please um if if the if the hall is full they can just stand where they are or if okay those who are already inside they can just stand in the straight line there and then others can stand in front of their leds is the same effect if not this place will soon be rowdy let's just take it easy please protocol be easy with them so that no one people you see these precious people are coming because they are tired can i tell you counseling can only go so far in helping addictions drunkenness masturbation pornography every kind of thing there are spirits and let me tell you the truth it is not about being good or bad it's about being a victim of wicked spirits these spirits are territorial I'm sorry to say it but most of them come from social media most of them come from movies that sometimes we just expose our spirits in the name of westernization and we pack all kinds of demonic luggages you gather 10 people and I can tell you 7 out of every 10 people are suffering addictions. But can I tell you, you came here for a miracle service. Because some of you, let me tell you what happens. Look up please. Let me teach you how these spirits work. You see, the moment a great door is about to open, that urge comes. And the moment, whether it is drunkenness, whatever, that door is closed forever. Ah, hallelujah hold on there is there is one person here you inject yourself who is that let me see your hands like i'm seeing a syringe now i don't know if the injection with what but i don't know if it's inside or, don't be afraid who is that i'm seeing something that has to do with a syringe who is that 
help this lady. I hope she's not falling under the anointing. Like a syringe, like giving yourself shots of injection, literal injection. I don't know what you are injecting. There are people who snuff this thing they use to fix tire of car. What is it called? Huh? Now, do you think any right thinking human being with his brain will go and bend down to snuff that thing? It's a spirit. Now, do you know why? This is a lesson to the body of Christ. Most of these people you see have at least one Christian near them. But this, our obsession for condemnation is why people just keep quiet and suffer in silence. Nobody wants to be stigmatized and to be made. You think these people standing are wicked people? Some of them are more sincere and honest than most people you know. Until the body of Christ returns to the place of love, genuine love, we will keep losing our people to Satan. Let me tell you, all of you who are standing here, I want you to know that number one, I love you sincerely. And number two, you will be delivered now. Yeah. Hallelujah. Lift your right hand. Repeat this prayer after me loud. And at the end of it, I'm going to pray for you. Those standing anywhere at all. And then those outside, those maybe addictions following. Um, respectfully speaking, I know that many of our Western people who are connecting. Please don't think because you are in America or Europe, a spirit is a spirit. Addiction is addiction. And you can open. Mama, you can stand in for your child. Parents, you can stand in for your loved ones. Say after me, Father, have mercy on me. Say it again, Father, have mercy on me. Say in the name of Jesus, I declare as an act of my will, that the spirit responsible for this addiction by my God-given authority I choose life I choose freedom from that spirit therefore from tonight I declare my liberty in Jesus name get ready the power of God is coming on you right now at the count of three satan you had your confession the bible says for with the mouth confession is made unto salvation they have declared their liberty at the count of three every spirit responsible for any kind of addiction at the count of three go now one two three go 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 out of their destinies out of their destinies I break that addiction. Go forever in the name of Jesus Christ. And every altar servicing that addiction in the name of Jesus, I come against you now. Anything you cannot control has become a God over you. Be free now. Be free now. Now look at me. Just two instructions to help you. For those of you who have listened to my teaching on the mystery of deliverance, there are three stages to total deliverance. And I'll be, I'll be teaching you. We'll soon get into the series. Number one is freedom from the spirit influence that is back of whatever issue of concern. Number two is called deliverance through transformation. That means your mind has to be exposed to renewal. And then number three is called the discipline of conformity. You have a role to play. Say for instance, if yours is drunkenness and then you still go back to the bar, chances are excellent that when you see all your friends and colleagues and you see those bottles of beer sweating in the cold brought out of uh, uh, the freezer you will go back in, in, in that thing again can I tell you change your friends 
did you hear what i said Sh don't insult anybody but change your friends some of you you don't have one good friend one good friend a friend to a thief is what are we together so i beseech you by the mercies of god now that you have received this please be grounded in the house of god go to koinonia global you can get the teachings listen to them for your renewal this is not, this is a battle for your destiny number two you can on tuesdays our prayer department meets at the doa uh, you can whether you are a member of prayer band or not you can come even if it's just for two weeks and come and stretch with them and learn and allow the spirit of grace to help you in the name of jesus christ there's someone among you people standing here you are soon going back to your seat but there's somebody that god needs to deliver from anger you can use your physical hand and kill when you are angry it's not you it's a spirit it's about to leave you now don't worry you don't have to tell me you are the one if you are the one the anointing will look for you now huh anger like i'm not talking of just this rage you literally can hold a human being and until that person dies you will not leave him it's not normal remember what i taught you right now every wicked spirit male or female i don't care what every spirit of anger can i tell you look at this look at this listen do you know when people come to me for counseling or they are ready to get married before i start asking them any question the first thing is proper deliverance from these things when you marry somebody you are marrying everything they came with the assignment of a man of god is to help you edit those wicked things before you get into your home that's why you see men who can get angry and tear their wives into pieces and say sorry and do it again or you can see a woman who will carry hot water from the from the pot and put and spray it on her husband and say sorry and do it again in the name of jesus the spirit of anger not just for those who are out here but for everyone here if there is anyone who is a victim of the spirit of anger right now by the power that raised christ from the dead be delivered now in the name of jesus now please let's be patient and appreciate them as they quickly return to their seats please let there be huh? the person injecting himself who is that this lady oh my god let the rest go let she can stay please stay darling i'll pray with you right now eh? the devil is a liar in the name of jesus christ those under the anointing can stay please the rest if you are moving please move quickly we are still we're about to pray for the sick now is someone seeing what god is doing in this place this night Your name is to be alone. Where are you from, my dear? From Edo State. You are from Edo State? Yes, sir. I want to pray for you. You believe that Jesus can set you free? Yes, sir. In the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands towards you. Whatever spirit makes you to inject yourself, as painful as injection is, so you can see, it has to be a spirit. In the name of Jesus Christ, please look at me, don't feel bad. By the power that raised Christ from the dead, I command now that spirit and that influence, it leaves you forever. Yeah. Is someone agreeing with me over this lady? You see, the secret hold on please and, and we teach this in in the school of ministry one of the secrets of ministering effectively is to put yourself in the shoes of people it's called compassion compassion fuels the anointing if you are if you are if if you imagine that this is your sister or your daughter or your wife or your relative then compassion will well up within you for as long as you think this is some stranger somewhere she's from Edo state and i am here from another place you will not be able to help people that way in the name of jesus as the house of god we declare you free as the house of god we declare you delivered 
we will never lose you to Satan. The Lord is showing you mercy. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. Let's pray for the sick now. Let's pray for the sick. Please look up. Why is the healing ministry important? Let me teach you something very quickly and then we'll pray for the sick. Why is the healing ministry important? I will tell you why. Because every man is spirit. Please look up. Man is spirit. And every spirit resides legally. If it is to function in the earth here, it resides in a body. Are we together? And for as long as you have a body, you have the legitimate ground, the authorization to function within the earth. Whatever deteriorates your body to a point where it no longer becomes functional is administering death to you because there is a threshold level of health that your body must have for your spirit to be able to safely reside within it. Are we together now? The assignment of Satan is to ultimately lead you to that point of separation by deteriorating your health condition. It can come in any form. So when your health is deteriorated beyond a certain threshold, what happens to you? Satan now ensures that your body is separated from your spirit. So every time we minister healing, it is a way of preserving your life so that you will have that body to be able to serve the purposes of God. He says, a body has thou prepared for me. Are we together? Except through understanding as you age and as time passes because of the wear and tear of this body naturally medical people begin to tell us that you will begin to see certain things and i have found out that about the most common of these things for men prostrate high blood pressure uh, what do we call it again paralysis and all these things um what do we call this sickness where your mind is not coordinated again you start forgetting things and all of that you see that now and then of course women it comes as all kinds of things but I want you to make up your mind. I know there are doctors here. I respect you and I respect whatever it is that you have studied. I want you to believe that the word of God becomes the definition for your life. For as long as you start believing some of these things, they subliminally start programming you. I am 50 now. I expect enlarged prostrate. And the devil says, you are, thank you for welcoming it. And you receive it by faith. Are we together? You have a right to reject anything at all that is not of God. Reject it. And stand with faith and in faith. Why am I saying this? So that when we are praying for the sick, you don't say, since my own condition does not necessitate admission in the hospital, I am fine. Remember what I taught you about the devil? The moment he tests you and you allow him unrestrained, he will move further to bring another version of that thing. So right now that I want to pray for the sick, please, I want you to release your faith that anything that does not represent God's design for you as revealed in Scripture, it is time for it to leave. Is someone in agreement? Please rise up on your feet. While that is happening, how many of you have your prayer requests here? All the overflows to the basement outside, those following online now we'll do two things at the same time number one is our ushers will be collecting the prayer requests now what I want you to do please still write if there are things you need to write I'll give you one minute very quickly you want to add something your faith has been enlarged and you still want to add one or two things write it down quickly and then pass it may I request that you pass it to someone maybe by your left and right let there be one person who has nobody will read your request just pass it for ease ushers please you can begin to walk around very quickly so that we'll collect it if you're still writing just take a minute or two and write believing the lord to step in for you 
you heard what the Lord did in the life of our dear one who testified writing something in the prayer request unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come very quickly very quickly medical reports terminal situations unfavorable conditions for you your children parents spouse company business church the Bible says be anxious for nothing but in everything so there is nothing that should be left out of the scope of prayer in everything by prayer and supplication with thanksgiving it says let your request be made known unto God let your request be made known unto God. Be anxious for nothing. Philippians chapter 4, we start reading from verse 6. You find that, and it says, And the peace of God will garrison your heart and your mind. Very quickly. Now, I want to pray for the sick. Listen, I have seen the healing power of Jesus. I was so touched by the testimony of our dear sister. Look, the miracle that Jesus did for her husband literally from the dead and then correction brand new organs the mighty God is able to do this I want to pray for you now <laughs> hallelujah now please lay your hands why do I ask you to lay your hands as a point of contact it's a way of releasing your faith Before God stepped in, we're talking about the three components that must be present to create an atmosphere of the supernatural. One is passion for God and complete surrender. Number two, we agreed that the second key that I wrote here is deep, heartfelt worship. Number three is faith. Now you're about to exercise your faith. I hope you know that faith is simply obedience obedience to the word of god obedience to the demands that commit god to your life without action you are not walking by faith it's as simple as that faith is more than confession faith is more than believing faith is your action now here's what i want you to do we're not going to take too much time the moment i begin to pray for you others as you fell under the power of god miracles began to happen to you all kinds of supernatural connection, cor um, corrections. Do you know why we ask people to come out when they are healed? It's not just to show that the man of God is powerful. No. You see, it, it, with all humility, at, at this point in ministry, there is nothing to prove again. God has honored himself beyond contention. But the goal is, in coming out to testify, three things happen. Number one, you help the people to see the power of God on display truthfully. Number two, it acts as a seal to what you have done. Are we together? The Bible says we overcame them by the blood of the Lamb and by the word. Yes. The word of your testimony is part of the weapons of your overcoming. So I'm going to pray for you right now. All the overflows outside following all our viewers across the globe. As I pray for you right now, immediately i want you to begin to send in your testimonies for those of you who are out outside of uh, the local environment and for those who are here the moment i ask you to come out to come and testify do not be afraid do not be ashamed i want you to come out we'll take a few testimonies then we'll pray over re the requests and i prophesy into your life are you ready now please lay your hands and begin to pray one minute jesus step in for me with your mercy over whatever condition it is mention it please pray don't tolerate anything that does not look like jesus i'm beginning to lose hearing don't tolerate it i'm suffering the issue of blood don't tolerate it i'm beginning to have whatever symptoms don't tolerate it it looks like I'm having heart palpitations, breathing problems. Don't tolerate it. Lumps all over my body. Don't tolerate it. Talk to Jesus. Jesus, step in.
stepping over my life stepping over my destiny hallelujah hallelujah in one of the visions that i had as god began to release me into the ministry i saw i was in a place and it was like the hospitals were closed it was like a curfew but then there were people lying down some sick some lifeless you know just littered across an open space and i was outside and i saw them i felt very very terrible and irritated by their conditions and they were looking up to me and it was in the night and it looked like these people were hoping that i would do something and i heard a voice that voice spoke to me and he said to heal them and that is why what opened me up to the healing ministry i really believe in the power of jesus to heal i believe i believe he heals he heals he healed yesterday he's healing now and he will heal forever the healing ministry is one of the cardinal components that puts the power of god on display are you ready now let's pray the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 are you lord the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy holy jesus something is happening here i'll sing it one more time the saints and the angels bow the redeemed worship you now holy 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 I was given an example about this enlarged prostrate but it's not just an example the Spirit of God is ministering to me that he's healing someone of that condition right now it's beginning to happen to you this thing happened from when you were around 55 it started all of the symptoms that show an enlarged prostrate in the name of Jesus be healed now I stretch my hands and I decree and declare everyone here who has any blood condition you've seen Jesus change genotypes here you've seen Jesus remove all kinds of things from your blood every stranger in your blood that should not be there in the name of Jesus I flush them out now I flush them out now be healed right now migraine headaches the Lord is healing migraines very severe migraine be healed now every damaged organ in your body we declare a brand new organ now The pelvic area for someone you've had severe severe pain in the name of Jesus Christ the Lord is bringing you life and healing right now please believe it you are receiving something right now in the name of Jesus Christ eye conditions for one of you you are just beginning to see its symptoms of, of, of a very severe eye problem and for others it's been there for a while it does not matter how long I command eyes be open now <laughs> honestly I'm sensing a very very strong anointing there's someone your chest your chest that demonic thing around your chest I declare be released from it now
this is this is not like you have fever but many times your tongue just tastes bitter very very bitter for reasons you do not know and the moment that thing happens it comes with ill health it looks like a, a severe case of typhoid but you've treated it is return you've treated it is return is a demonic thing right now i stretch my hands be healed in the name of jesus christ every blood condition i'm repeating it again hiv in the name of jesus be healed now hepatitis be healed now sugar diabetes be healed now severe waist pain the lord is healing severe waist pain in the name of jesus christ there's someone i don't know what it is at this side of your neck as soon as i'm done praying i want you to check yourself you will see that a miracle has happened right now let that demonic growth leave you now there is someone you are not in the main auditorium but you are losing your teeth i've prayed over this kind of condition before something is happening and it's like your your teeth your gums or whatever is weakening and if you have been pulled out already and i'm seeing that more of it is is like it's weak the power of god right now is bringing you healing and restoration now anyone who is on crutches anyone who is using an aid to walk i declare life and strength to your limbs now be healed in the name of jesus christ every deafness partial deafness total deafness i command that ear to be open now someone there is like a growth in your truth but it's inside it's not like thyroid but i don't know what it is it looks like it it, it looks to me from what i'm seeing like it's a boil but it's inside you with severe pain not it, it looks like tonsillitis but it's not tonsillitis wherever you are right now as i'm praying the power of god is resting upon you now in the name of jesus christ every joint pain hear the word of the lord i declare be healed now now every other situation whether i mentioned it or not in the name of jesus christ i am praying for you inside outside everywhere i bring you life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name life and healing in jesus name I want you to check yourself right now everywhere check yourself I want us to celebrate miracles for a few minutes check yourself the moment you find out that something has happened to you now or as at the time I was praying my God I'm seeing people coming out celebrate them very quickly you find out that a miracle has happened please I want you to be bold walk to the front right now and there will be people here to receive you. Let's take a few testimonies. Please, very quickly. Koinonia, is this what you are doing? Is this the best you can do? Check yourself very quickly. Miracles are happening right now. Do what you couldn't do before. Stretch, stand, walk. Let someone speak over you. Are you seeing what Jesus is doing here? I believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god lord i believe i believe yes lord i believe yes lord i believe you're the son of god one more time we believe say Jesus is bringing miracles. We believe you're the Son of God. Hallelujah. Are we ready? Yes, sir. God bless you. 
All right, Apostle. please listen very carefully to these testimonies. Hallelujah. Whilst you are listening, the power of God is also touching you. And those of you who have received miracles from across the globe, do well to send in your testimonies immediately. We'll have a few testimonies and then you'll be done. Now, very quickly, go ahead. So, Apostle, this sister here has had migraine for like five years. Migraine. And what happened to you now? Praise the Lord. I, I came with a very severe headache, which is, I'm very used to it. So I came and I was like, maybe it has started again. I went to the restroom to wash my eyes because of, yes. I have all thin eye and my And what happened now? I went to collect my stomach. But when, during the service, I felt a cold sensation in my body. Yes. And everything has Completely gone. It never returns to you again. In the name of Jesus, celebrate Jesus. So sir, interestingly, you mentioned the case of yes, my brother, yes, particularly sir. for this lady when you were praying for her, and she has an amazing testimony to share. With Go her. ahead, yes, please. Praise God. When Papa was praying for a woman that had a fibroid, and I was down there, I fell onto the anointing, and later I, I was checking myself since then, and I, there is a swollen here before, but oh, there, there was a swelling. Yes, you could feel it yes. right now. No, Check it. I, 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 I tried check, I was trying to press my stomach to see if I can see that soul. I don't it's, know, gone. it's gone. Are you, are you celebrating Jesus? Look at this. Came with, with an evident swelling. And now it's gone completely. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you again. By the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, sir. So, for the past three, four days now, I've been having serious pain inside my throat okay i can't whenever i'm swearing any saliva saliva i feel serious pain so i had to visit the pharmacist they gave me this thing to be taken yes from time to time and i have a tablet too but immediately you just called that i felt this as if something something melted, just and i swallowed saliva i want to swallow saliva i had to take one of these put in my mouth before i could feel it and right pain. now i feel better. in the name of jesus christ it will never return to you again by the power of the Holy Spirit, yes. Apostle, you gave word of knowledge of those with high defect. Hers is astigmatism. She couldn't look at bright light, but now she could look at light. My, you couldn't look at bright light for how long? Um, it's two years now. Uh huh. Yes, and right now, I can you can look at this light, yes, and it has no effect on you. My goodness, are you celebrating Jesus? Complete healing for you right now. Yes, please. Very quickly. Severe back pain for the past one year. You couldn't bend down, but now you could bend down, bend my down friend. comfortably and Bend down. Any pain. Any pain. In the name of Jesus, it never returns to you by the power of the Holy Spirit. Yes, please. You gave word of knowledge of those with severe chest pain. Her mommy has had it for about some years now, but now, Mama, how four long, years How now. long has it been? Like four years. Four years. Yes. Sometimes it blocks... Uh, it's like there's something there. So sometimes when I'm eating, it sort of jokes. And what happened to you now? I can't feel that. Completely. Way. Breathe in and out. Breathe in and out. Any pain. Let's celebrate Jesus for what he's doing in the life of our mother. It will never return to you again. In the name of Jesus. Yes, Pastor Jakes. Yes, go ahead, sir. So, Apostle, sorry. Medical thing were actually very fine and interesting okay. testimony. Yeah? Wow. Please come. So she had, she suffered a stroke. A stroke? Yes, sir and amazingly god touched her what happened my dear what's your name and good evening sir my name is ab whilst the woman was giving the testimony about her husband who had suffered this can, can you amplify the volume technical I, help us with the volume. i am um, said to myself i said her own is more than mine that means i can get my healing and whilst i was sitting there i started moving my legs it, it how was, did you come here i, I could move but i always felt the okay. small small yes thing. and then on my lips as well it's it's numb it was numb your and lips then, yes and then whilst you were praying my head if i held my head like this and shake it it will ache like it was very heavy but as you prayed there was a cold sensation and even as I'm doing this, my dear look at me look she's even surprised walk Walk as fast as you can. Creator of the universe, what can you do? What can you do, Jesus? Name above, say. Name above every other name. What can you change? What can you change? Can you imagine 
the devil would have just destroyed the life of this lady my dear she's surprised look at this look at me in the name of jesus we agree with you that devil goes now never to return in the name of jesus yes sir all right sir so apostle again mama here has been experiencing severe pain aside from her finger then it actually moved into other locations are you seeing what god is doing now yes. mama what happened to you i told god today to give me a first time miracle even here here i took paracetamol here today while sitting when i came since you took morning. paracetamol here yes sir yes and now i'm not feeling any check okay. yourself check yourself look at this look at this in the name of jesus christ it will never return to you by the power of the holy spirit the lord will honor you and perfect everything that concerns you in jesus name i pray are you ready go ahead oh my god look there's at this there's a mighty miracle here look she, at this she was supported she couldn't walk she was supported to come here my dear but the power look at of me. god talked out since last year oh look look how the lady is my dear look at me look at me in the name of jesus christ i rebuke that spirit i lose you right now let her try look at me she was headed here she couldn't walk she couldn't walk yes walk walk apostle this is our mother oh this is her mother yes sir mama what is are you her mother she, yes she was the child for uh, uh, national hospital on friday what happened to her just like that he fed her does this thing look just like that every power masquerading as circumstances to plague your life in the name of jesus i curse it now look at how the devil wants to destroy the destiny of this precious lady just like that no stretch your hands towards her as the house of god in one minute let's declare perfection over this miracle lord this that you have begun this lady will not die this lady will not die this lady will not die in the name of jesus whatever is wrong we bring correction and perfection in jesus name i pray amen and amen god bless you very quickly there are two cases of swollen hands she said last year since she gave birth her hand got swollen and let me hear her what happened to you straight to the point madam okay apostle i gave birth last year december 13th so my hand began to swell up gradually and then your hand yes this place precisely uh-huh uh -huh. begin to swell up and then i could not move it very well and then if i move i have this severe pain. and right now and right now i receive move it pain. look at this since she gave birth she could not move her hand my dear in the name of jesus you are healed and you are perfected by the power of the holy spirit affliction will not rise a second time in jesus name it's another case of swollen hand to heal by the power of god what happened to you i came back from work on friday nothing happened to my hand my hand started paining me i could not sleep in the night yes this night too i could not sleep but immediately i stepped down here i could bring down my hand i could use it to stretch myself raise it dance. up bring it down raise it up any pain you are perfected right now in the name of jesus christ yes yes sir so apostle Ma god has touched another mama oh dear <laughs> all right so mama came in from joss and she actually said she actually came in she was taking some drugs and i think i'll what happened to, to you ma i had a uh, pain waist pain and then uh, abdominal pain when you were praying i was having severe pain i even took my drug when i was inside my car coming from just but when you were praying after the prayers it's gone I, now it's check gone, yourself any pain completely in the name of jesus it will never return to you again amen. by the power of the holy spirit amen, amen and amen who is ready amen. yes so we we have this brother that had pain i have abdominal pain it has been long it come up and stop but when you are praying for someone that have abdominal pain so i get in and hold my hand on my stomach but and right now it's gone, gone. Yes. it will never return to you again Amen. by the power of the holy spirit Amen. apostle you gave word of knowledge of those with prostrate enlargements 
Now the power of God is breaking out here to the Father in Enugu. Prostrate. So the prostrate. difficulty in the urination. So immediately you prayed that prayer. He called his brother and he asked the brother, the father, to go and ease himself. And now the father is jumping, healed, but jumping powerfully. Where? Healed. Where is that? In Enugu. Enugu State. In Enugu State. Yes. My yes. goodness. I sent. I brought all their prayer requests and I submitted it just now. But while they were praying, after the prayer, I called my my mom and I told my dad to try and ease himself and. He told me he's feeling ease. And just now, my brother just called and told me that he's jumping up. He's been healed. Enugu State, in the name of Jesus, let there be a supernatural miracle. Perfection in Jesus' name, I pray. Amen and amen. Let's see if we can take two more or three more, and then we'll just pray. I'm, I'm really interested in this prayer request. Yes. You gave word of knowledge of cases of ulcer. He also. has had it for two years now. The power of God came upon him. The pain disappeared. So he went to the medical personnel to check it. And now the also symptoms are gone. In the name of Jesus, place your hand on your chest. I decree and declare right now. Let there be perfection for you. It will never return in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen and amen. Yes, sir. So, Apostle, a very interesting miracle here. Um, so let's hear you first. Sir, so he's lived with migraine headaches for seven years. He got used to it. I May you been... never get used to wicked and evil and difficult things. Amen. In the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. I've yes. been passing through this headache for more than seven years. My, I call it my normal sickness. Like yesterday, I, I live my life like that. Headache is normal to me. But I was here sitting down. I was feeling it small. So I didn't feel it again. And also in my JS3, I fell down from a tree hit my waist and you chest. fell down from a tree yes sir and i can't like bend down throughout last day i couldn't do any serious bend problem. down now if i should bend down for like five minutes i'll start shivering bend so down I, now i try to bend down and i still feel myself okay there is nothing oh my and god just when i was having difficulty at times my breath will start like it will cease i complain to my parents like at times my breath will will just stop and, and right now you are healed life. Amen. I declare perfection for you in Amen. Jesus' name. Praise the name of the Lord. Now, uh, Apostle, let's see. Apostle, in summary, you migraine, back pain, head pain, all of them healed by the power of the Most High. Okay. Now, let, let me just stretch my hands. You know, I love seeing elderly people healed. They deserve peace in their life. In the name of Jesus Christ, I decree and declare by the power of the Holy Spirit, perfection for you. In Jesus' name. We'll take so one or two more we here. need to hear this. Yes, sir. Please come. So you gave an accurate word of knowledge regarding a lady with, you know, feeling bitter taste in her yes. tongue. Yes. Absolutely. Who is that? Amazing. Okay. Um, whenever I got a new job, I usually feel bitter, man. Um, whenever? I got a job. Okay. I'll feel bitter mouth and all of a sudden I'll feel sick and I'll lose the job. And it happened to me this week. You see I, what you are saying? very demonic situation this is not an issue of sickness what happened to you now um, I'm completely. completely everything you have lost let there be a restoration for you in the name of Jesus Christ let there be a restoration for you in Jesus name I pray amen and amen so apostle here several cases of migraine and you know healings in the truth migraine I'm seeing the doctor is dragging one lady here. It's like she wants us to hear her testimony. Oh, glory to Jesus. I was blind, but now I'm healed. Straight to the I point. I am healed. I, I could not use these eyes, these eyes, to see anybody from far. It's Which like one? This one. How long? It's due to diabetes for the past three years. But it happened like a year now. I can't oh. read. I can't see anybody. Yes. But today, I could see you from the screen, from where I sat down. I can close my eyes and I can close, identify Close the one that was walking. Yes, this is the one that is walking. And I could read from what, this. Don't this worry. Time. What can you see? I can see four. Hallelujah! Five! Your complete hands. I can see. I can only see. What can you see? Two fingers. Thank you. 
Thank you, Jesus. What can you see now? I can see three, four, Look five. Thank you, Jesus. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto you. Everything that was stolen shall be returned unto me. Everything that was lost shall be returned unto me. Can I tell you, losing your eyes is not a good thing. Believe me, believe me. Losing your eye is not a good thing. There were miracles that Jesus would heal one and leave the rest, but not blindness. When he saw blindness, he insisted that their eyes were open. In the name of Jesus, we agree with you as the house of God. Thank you, Jesus. Perfection for you. You go back and you live a normal life with joy. This is what you get for coming to the house of God. In Jesus' name. And diabetes, by the way, you said it. We, 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 we curse that spirit right now. In Jesus' name I pray. Thank you, Jesus. Amen and amen. Uh, for the sake of time, we may not be able to take all one by one, but can I agree with you? For all of you who have received miracles in the name of Jesus, it remains permanent with you. And I decree and declare there will be no resurgence of those illnesses and those issues of concern. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen and amen. God bless you. Thank you very much. Please rise up on your feet and stretch your hands here. All the overflows, just stretch your hands. We are praying right now. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare our global family. I'm praying over the request now. I believe in the ministry of prayer and prophetic intercession. When we pray like this, it is because we believe in the God that can hear and can act. Unto thee that answers prayer shall all flesh come. I want you to stretch your hands and begin to declare that in the name of Jesus, I receive answers by faith. I receive answers by faith to everything that I've written here. For those of you who came in um, and, and brought requests for your loved ones, go ahead and, and release your faith in the name of Jesus Christ. Are you praying? All the overflows. You are praying now. Lord, step in, do the impossible, do the impossible. Remember the last component, faith, release your faith. God is doing miracles right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. For as long as I live, I will never stop interceding over the desires of God's people because I know that we serve a God who answers prayers. Are we together? I want you to believe in every declaration that we'll be making here. It is not, we're not acting. This is not just some show. Believe me, you will get answers to this request. Yeah. Father, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands over these requests and I declare by the power that raised Christ from the dead that these Egyptians you see today, 
may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever may you see them no more forever every spirit that is back of these tragedies we declare let judgment come upon them now in the name of mike that is working praise the lord okay thank you for those of you who have put timing timing to your requests in the name of jesus it will not delay by a day let me repeat it again if you have put timing on your request I prophesy to you it will not delay by one day whoever has vowed that this request will not be answered in the name of Jesus we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn we overturn and we give you what is rightfully yours every system and every structure that needs to come under the influence of the spirit for this request to be answered we put pressure on them now in the name of jesus christ in the name of jesus christ i stand upon this prophetically and i decree and declare in the name of jesus christ it will never be an issue of concern for you again The Lord gave us an instruction to come with any point of contact. Lift it up now. If you came with any point of contact, your credentials, your whatever it is. Now, this is not ritual. We are doing this based on the understanding that we are bringing a token, a point of contact. Whatever, you can lift your hands if there's nothing. In your home, whatever, anything that is a point of contact. Please believe. Believe in prophetic instructions. Do the impossible, do the impossible, do the impossible. Do the impossible. I stretch my hands over these points of contact, whether it is your credentials, whether it is your employment letter, whether it is your, your business, whatever, whether it is a court case, whether it is a summon from the court, whether it is a real estate project, a project with institutions, systems, and structures, whether it is papers for your ministry, papers for travels, in the name of Jesus, who is the Son of the living God, prophetically, I lay my hands on every one of these contacts and I declare, I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. I command them to bring back joyful testimonies for you. The Bible says, for everyone that asketh, receive. To him that seeketh, he shall find. And to him that knocketh, the door shall be opened. Every closed door over these things lifted. I stand by the power of the prophetic and I command those doors to be opened now. <laughs> Hear me. For some of you, after this service, they will call you. And by that call, you will know you have stepped into a new season. Everyone lifting your credentials by faith, trusting God for a job. In the name of Jesus Christ, we shift every space that needs to be shifted and we create space for you. For all those who are holding legal documents in the name of Jesus if there be anything against you we plead mercy and if anyone is lifting a medical report or anything of that sort in the name of Jesus Christ for you or for whoever you are standing in for let there be a testimony now I declare those documents anointed I declare them graced may they produce results for you in jesus name i pray now please listen 
listen I, it just it just occurred to me i don't know why i didn't say it the whole of the month of march we are going to be dealing with the subject of deliverance demonology and spiritual warfare listen i told you that i want to teach you this i want to settle down please open your spirit by the grace of god god is going to be opening our eyes there is a lot of ignorance in the body of christ as to the operation of demons foundations yokes destinies the mystery of the blood how to command and walk in perpetual victory the time has come so the entire month of march we're going to be dealing with this extensively let your heart be open our global family be sure to god is going to be giving us explanations and he will be making sense out of the things around our lives in the name of jesus christ but for now let me speak over your destiny favor let it begin to speak for you honor let it begin to speak for you speed let it begin to speak for you may every closed door be opened now let every disappointment be turned to your testimony in the name of jesus may the hearts of your destiny help us be open for your sake in the name of jesus christ hear me i pray over your hands the spirit of poverty of lack and of shame of not enough i come by the power of prophecy and i declare shift to the realm of abundance by the spirit of grace in the name of jesus christ as you travel i decree and declare you heard the gentleman who said or, or is it the lady from the airport enter the cab and someone just drove with them into the forest can i tell you if it will be for your kidnap you will not enter that car if that plane will crash you will not be inside but if you are inside may it never crash in the name of jesus christ i pray for you and i pray for your loved ones anyone who has been marked to be a victim of kidnapping a victim of whatever demonic thing we send angels ahead to stand before them in the mighty name of jesus and based on the revelation that god showed here we pray for our judicial system in this nation that everything that is a conspiracy that is not of god that wants to crumble the judicial system we plead the blood in the name of jesus may the lord show mercy over our judicial system in the name of jesus everyone in business here receive the grace for excellence everyone in ministry here go and be a sign and a wonder for all those who have traveled from out of this nation you have come this anointing you have received as you return back it will be evident in your life in the name of jesus christ i'm going to sing you need jesus as i begin to sing please make your way to the front there's no need coercing there's no need cajoling you need jesus the first time you are making this genuine decision or for you you are saying i i am rededicating my life as i begin to sing that song i have decided please let's let's allow them to come wherever you are you are saying apostle please pray with me as i lead you to christ please come very quickly i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back keep coming i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turn are you still coming join them very quickly i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back i have decided to follow jesus no turning back no turning back. i'm seeing a few people coming please come quickly i want to lead them to pray
quickly quickly rush so you come and join those of you in front here i'd like you to lift your hands thank you for coming it pays to know jesus pays to serve him lift your hands say after me let it be from the depth of your heart you're speaking to jesus the captain of your salvation say lord jesus i believe in you that you are the son of god right now i hand over my life and my destiny to you i receive you as my savior as my lord and as my king from tonight until forever i belong to you i am a child of god i am saved thank you for accepting me amen if you didn't pray that prayer whilst you meet the counselors please make sure they pray with you it matters that you confess jesus with your mouth and believe him with your heart i pray for you right now in the name of jesus let the power that saves let that power that empowers you to live a victorious christian life may that grace rest upon you right now i declare your sins forgiven i call you recipients of the life of god from tonight you go forward ever and backward never in jesus name there are at least 10 of you from my counting here who did not say that prayer please do well counselors you may do well to help them thank you all the same for coming let's celebrate them as you move to my right which is your left all of you in concert my right which is your left the counselors are there to receive you very briefly thank you very much for your patience you've been stretched a bit tonight just two announcements very quickly and then we're done um the medical team our medical the medical department is in need of more hands uh, particularly they are looking for pharmacists and physiotherapists um, i'm sure they are open for all medical people but particularly pharmacists and physiotherapists so you are a pharmacist you're a physiotherapist and you want to be part of our medical team please you can go to the medical stand immediately after the service just be patient and they'll attend to you but the department is generally open you are interested you are a medical person paramedic you want to become part of the uh, medical team please do well to see them after the service and the lord will bless you in jesus name final announcement all workers please look forward to details from your heads of department as to when Thank you for watching our entire video today. If you feel you can bless someone, please join us and spread the gospel by sharing this video on your social media.